Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast. This is episode 4.4, talking about pulmonary pathology. Let's start with acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS. It causes sudden respiratory failure, usually due to fluid accumulation in the alveoli, due to an already severe illness. Signs and symptoms include death in approximately 25-40% to of all patients, shortness of breath, hypotension, confusion, fatigue, cough, and fever. Treatment here usually involves mechanical ventilation as well as medications. Asthma is caused by a chronic inflammation of the airways due to airway hypersensitivity. Signs and symptoms include wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, cyanosis, and respiratory failure. Treatment includes reducing triggers such as allergens, exercise, or cigarette smoke, bronchodilators, anti-inflammatory agents, and corticosteroids. Atelectasis is caused by the collapse of one or more bronchopulmonary segments. Signs and symptoms include cyanosis, shortness of breath, dyspnea, and tachycardia. Treatment involves deep breathing exercises, airway clearance techniques, PEEP or CPAP devices, bronchoscopy, and medications. Bronchial carcinoma is lung cancer. 77% of all lung cancer is caused by smoking. Signs and symptoms include a chronic cough, coughing up blood, that's never good, shortness of breath, wheezing, and bone pain. Treatment includes surgery to resect various parts of the lung to cut the cancer out, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Bronchiectasis is a progressive obstructive lung disease that produces dilated bronchi. This is an irreversible condition due to a chronic infection aspiration, or conditions like cystic fibrosis. Signs and symptoms include a productive, consistent cough, weight loss, anemia, and crackles and wheezes with lung auscultation. Bronchitis is caused by bronchi inflammation due to hypertrophy of mucus secreting glands, causing an insufficient oxygenation due to excess mucus. Classified after having a productive cough for a three-month period, over the course of two consecutive years. Signs and symptoms include a persistent cough with thick sputum, cyanosis, increased use of accessory muscles for inspiration, and a cough that is worse in the morning. Treatment includes fluids for hydration, cough suppressants, bronchodilators, and supplemental humidified air. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is caused by the blocking of airflow due to narrowing of the bronchial tree, usually caused due to long-term smoking or exposure to environmental toxins. Signs and symptoms include excess mucus production and a chronic productive cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, and reduced exercise capacity. Treatment includes bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, surgery, and lifestyle modifications. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a genetic disease of the exocrine glands affecting the lungs, pancreas, liver, intestines, sinuses, and genitals, leading to a production of thick, sticky mucus that causes chronic lung infections, pancreatic obstructions, and inhibition of normal digestion. Signs and symptoms include salty-tasting skin, persistent productive cough, frequent lung infections, poor weight gain, and large, greasy stools. Treatment involves medication, airway clearance techniques, breathing techniques, and ventilator muscle training. Emphysema is caused by alveolar wall destruction with bronchial collapse during exhalation, usually caused by smoking. Signs and symptoms, shortness of breath, wheezing, a chronic unproductive cough, so that's different from all the other pathologies up to here the appearance of a barrel chest, the increased use of accessory muscles, fatigue, and reduced exercise capacity. Treatment includes bronchodilators, inhaled steroids, antibiotics, surgery, and pulmonary rehabilitation. Pleural effusion is the buildup of fluid in the pearl space between the lungs and the chest cavity, compressing the lungs and increasing the work of breathing. This can lead to atelectasis, The fluid can also become infected and create an abscess called an empima. Signs and symptoms, shortness of breath, a dry cough, fever, and chills. 
Treatment includes antibiotics, NSAIDs, and a chest tube may be indicated to drain the fluid. Pneumonia is caused by lung inflammation due to infection by bacteria, virus, fungus, or parasite. Signs and symptoms include a fever, cough, shortness of breath, sweating, shaking chills, chest pain that increases with breathing, headache, muscle pain, and fatigue. Treatment includes antibiotics, antivirals, antifungals, rest, and lots of hydration. Pulmonary edema is caused by fluid collection within the alveoli that can lead to a medical emergency. This can be caused by left-sided heart failure, pneumonia, ARDS, smoke inhalation, or toxin exposure. Signs and symptoms include extreme shortness of breath, wheezing, gasping for breath, and frothing blood-tinged sputum with chest pain and a rapid irregular pulse. Treatment includes medication and supplemental oxygen. Pulmonary embolism is caused by a blockage of the lung arteries due to dislodged lower extremity DVTs. Signs and symptoms include a sudden onset of shortness of breath, chest pain that becomes worse with deep breathing or bending, and coughing up bloody sputum. So often these patients will have pain right at the inferior rib angles along the axillary line. Treatment includes anticoagulants and possibly an inferior vena cava filter. Pulmonary fibrosis is caused by microscopic alveolar scarring that makes the tissue stiff and thick that makes breathing more difficult. This is usually an idiopathic cause but can also be from chronic exposure to microscopic particles. Some medications like chemotherapy and radiation can also cause pulmonary fibrosis. Signs and symptoms include shortness of breath, a dry cough, fatigue, and aching muscles and joints. Treatment medications and lung transplant may be indicated. And finally, restrictive lung dysfunctions. This results after abnormal reduction in lung expansion and pulmonary ventilation. This can be caused by atelectasis, pneumonia, pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary edema, ARDS, pleural effusion, pleural, fib pleural fibrosis, or pneumothorax. Signs and symptoms include dyspnea with exertion, a persistent non-productive cough, and hypoxemia. Treatment depends on the primary diagnosis. That's it for episode 4.4, talking about pulmonary pathology. Episode 4.5 will talk about cardiopulmonary labs. As always, the outline will be in the show notes. Thanks.